the part I will never forget. The shop owner was one of those people that others are attracted to, but I experienced him as one of the most genuine people I have encountered in a long time. He had time for me, he was interested in me, and he took the time to make me happy. Sure, the cynical consumer in me wanted to imagine that he was trying to take advantage of us, but he already had our money. And there was a delight in his eyes that could not be ignored, a sincerity, if you will. This book is a compilation of what I learned from this man that I will never forget. Stunned, I walked out of the tea shop saying to Laura, What just happened? I have been thinking about our experience at the tea shop ever since. I was hoping for an adventure and astonished that I found it in a tiny little tea shop and in an unassuming man that couldn't even speak my language. I hope that I can learn to slow down and be the kind of person that I witnessed that night, to be present with people and share my food with them, to take time to love people instead of just serving myself. Maybe I will remember to say something kind to people I interact with when I buy and sell things. I imagine Jesus to be a lot like the man with no name, even though this gentleman probably wasn't a Christian. I was able to see Christ in him. I cannot wait to go back to Taiwan and visit the nameless man in the tea shop. In the meantime, I'm hoping to bring the tea shop to you in this book. This is his story as much as it is mine.